Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I'm Nicole. I'm homeschooling mom to a seven, five, and two year old. And you guys really liked my last video where I compared the mini Yodo and the classic. So today I was just gonna show you guys, I got a few requests to go over what cards we have. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys our collection. Okay, so this is our Yodo. It does have the face because we don't have Wi-Fi out where we live. We tried and it was so slow. It wouldn't even connect to the um, Yodo. It was ridiculous, but, and this, and then we have the mini. It's not on right now, but it was on the charger. Um, the, real quick and I'll get into the cards. Um, the one thing, it's a cloudy day, so the color is gonna keep changing, um, about not having Wi-Fi is that the new cards that I got that I'll show you in a sec, won't upload until I go to like my mom's or something or a Starbucks or something and get Wi-Fi going on it and then it has to load the whole time. So that is one unfortunate thing about not having Wi-Fi. But I'm sure that 99% of you watching this do have that at your house. So nothing to worry about. I wish it connected to cellular. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to go through. I'm going to show you guys my new ones first. Um, so I had some points there and they were going to expire. So I had to order a few um, and I am actually planning on getting another mini Yodo, which I was going to do for Christmas, but I had to use the points. Anyway, I got the Gruffalo um, collection. So these are the stories that it has in it and each one is a different card. It comes with six cards. Um, I do actually already have this on Audible, but I like having the cards with the picture. I think it's really fun for them. Um, so I haven't opened it yet because I need to take it somewhere with Wi-Fi. And then my, while I was looking, um, my toddler actually came over and she saw this one. So I got it and we started listening to it um, Bluetooth because if you don't know, you can use your phone Yodo app and play any card that you own um, on your phone on Bluetooth. However, you don't have to have the Yodo at the time. Anyway, it's not Elmo's voice, which I was a little disappointed with. Okay, so let's get into these. It's quite a jumble because the kids get in and out. Um, so uh, my seven-year-old's favorite would for sure be the Star Wars. I have two of them. One of the other ones probably in the room actually. So he will just sit and listen to this the whole way through. Usually actually right here in our sunroom. Um, he loves that. These are really great for car rides because I think it's about an hour and a half long. Um, I'll get into my toddler stuff in a second. Um, my five-year-old really likes the Guardians of the Galaxy. Have um, the whole Llama Llama set. I bought that one. I think it's like a nine or ten card set. So we have like a lot of those, which aren't really their favorite. No one really reaches for the Llama ones, but my two-year-old, um, she did have a little Llama phase and that did en entertain her for a bit. Um, some of my favorites are the Caspar music. I think we have um, three of them. I don't see the other ones, but we have three of them. <laughs> Yoda cards end up everywhere. Um, one great thing about the Yoda cards is that if you lose them, you can use your app. You just put this into your Yoda. It's probably gonna play something actually. <laughs> um, and then you can set any card you have. So like say you lost this one and it's their favorite card. It obviously won't have that look, but you just put the make your own one and it loads all of these exactly the same into this card. And then now that's your um, Caspar Baby Hoops card until you find this one and then you can change this to something different. It's really easy. Um, another one that my five and seven year old both like, um, but we I think we only have like three of these. So they're kind of bored of the same ones. I need to get more um, Magic Tree House books. So my seven year old now reads them as well on his own, but um, they still really like these ones and they, um, the sound effects are good. I really like how they read the stories, super engaging. Um, some other ones we have, My First Christmas, this one is mostly classical music. Um, oh, here's another one of the Caspar. I really like all of these. My daughter went through, I think like a full year of, she wanted to listen to these all the time. And now she doesn't like them anymore and I don't know why and this was her first favorite card my first hundred words this comes in like one of the starter sets but she just loved looking at it and trying to like say the word back 
Um, and it has different languages. Um, it's like Apple and this one's pretty cool. I like this one. And it's always so entertaining for them for some reason. Um, and then we have, um, these are, this one's really cute. Goodnight Spaceman, but it's, um, quite a few stories. These are my favorite kind to get. Seems like they are making this style less frequently where it's, um, one card with a lot of stories on it. Just like, see how this one has six stories, but they're each their own card, which is like fun too. But I like how this one, they just hit the next and it lasts longer. So if you just want to put it in and they're doing watercolors or something like that while listening to it, you don't have to worry about it. Speaking of watercolors, um, one of our tried and true, the, I'm not sure if it's in here, it's not in here, but um, is Winnie the Pooh. We love that one and it's so funny and we just like really enjoy it. That was one of the first chapter books. Um, husband's calling me. <laughs> okay, I'm back. Okay, um, Winnie the Pooh. We just, is that what I was talking about? We really like that one. But yeah, watercoloring while playing the Yodo. That is like one of the best. Um, another only half five minute Marvel. This isn't my personal favorite, but I'd say when my boys were four and six, this is the one they listen to like every day. Um, this one, I don't even think they've ever listened all the way through. Um, it was kind of interesting, but it was, it was pretty slow. I don't even know all the stories that are on it. Crackling fire. Okay. My boys loved this one. This was the starter kit. It actually, I lost it for a while. We just found it. So my two year old heard it for the first time and she's terrified of it because she thinks it's a real fire because we have like a wood stove. So she knows to like not be near fire. Incredible instruments. This is another one, just like the hundred words also in the starter, um, that they just like go through a phase where they just love this and they like with each of my kids, they've all done it. Um, and they just like love it so much. It's their favorite. Um, story shed. This one's great. I think if you have Wi-Fi, you can set it up. So one of your buttons goes to story shed. Um, I just didn't do that, but I actually forgot about this card. This one's pretty good. It's still, even though we're not on Wi-Fi, it still has a bunch. It's probably from like years ago. It's probably like 2019 story shed. Um, but it still has story saved on it, which is nice. So I can still listen to quite a few on here. I'm almost done. <laughs> uh, Three Little Pigs is another one. So this is one of those that's just one story. Um, I would have liked it better if it was like three different fairy tales in one, um, but that was a good one. Fantastic Mr. Fox. My seven-year-old is now interested in this one because it's all been, it still works though. Um, he just read Charlie and the Chocolate Factory and James and the Giant Peach, and so now he recognizes the author, so he likes this one now. Um, I don't think I showed this one. Um, first class haul, I like this one a lot. I like this one more than the Christmas one. It's very similar type of music. They're both classical, but this one, oh yeah, the last one is like the Harry Potter theme song. It's pretty fun. Um, there's still a few in here, but I think it's just Llama Llama, another magic tree house. And then the Star Wars one is somewhere, like I said. So that is, I would say, 90% of our Yodo cards. Like I said, Poo is somewhere. And then there's probably some in here because this is, I'll show you what I have. I have um, two of these headphones and I got them on Amazon because at the time, I think Yodo was sold out of their headphones. Um, but what's cool, I don't know if Yodos do this too. They probably do, but because um, this is just a really little cheap set, but they have a headphone jack. So since we only currently have one mini, they can link their headphones to each other and then both listen to the same mini Yodo at the same time. Um, it's been really convenient for long car rides because we just drove to Disneyland and the Yodo was like the, the main thing that was great because we didn't go completely screen free, but very close to it. Um, anyway, so if you get headphones, make sure to get ones like that. If you have more than one kid and you're only getting one Yodo, they don't fight over it at all. They um, just kind of say like, oh, my card will be next or they're like happy with it. So anyway, that is our Yodo card collection. I am planning on probably getting more um, coming up probably for Christmas. It's a really good little stocking stuffer, I think. Um, but anyway, I, if I do get some, I will put that in like a monthly update video and let you guys know. And yeah, let me know if you have any other questions about the Yodo. 
Um, since so many people have watched my uh, mini verse classic, um, I don't know if you guys might have some other questions. Um, I'm totally happy to answer them. Just leave them in the comment section. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching.